is Cherishing Flow, and this is Eccentric Rebel, and welcome, welcome to our life. life. Um, so in today's video, we're doing a story time, um, and technically it's going to be like a part one, part two story time, but it's really just going to be like, I don't know how to describe it, like telling the story of our friendship, basically, yeah, and how we got to where we are now. So the first part is how we first became friends, like in the very beginning. Yeah, when it all started. And then the second part will be how we stopped being friends for a little while and what happened there. And yeah, so that's enough of that. So if you're new here, then go ahead and stick around, subscribe, turn the notification bell. Let us know what you think about this video in the comment section down below and just don't forget to subscribe so that you can see part two when it comes out. Okay? Okay, so how did start this story? It started, oh God, when did it start? I was about to start in 2014 when we became friends, but this goes back. Yeah, it does. So I guess it would start with, okay, so Maybe some disclaimers. I guess like, huh? I don't know. I don't know the date. 2013. Is that when you, like the Facebook thing happened? Yes. Okay, so just some disclaimers. Me and her dated the same guy when we weren't friends. Like, I dated him and then years, a couple years later, she dated him. And that's part of the reason that we ended up meeting. So, yeah. Going, so that's how this whole, like, it's really going to tie in together. <laughs> so, basically, what are we going to call the guy? I just did a story talking about him the other day, and I called him Jeremy, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I think I called them Jeremy and Joshua. I think that's what that's I said in my story. That's so funny. <laughs> We're just going to stick with Jeremy. <laughs> okay, so Jeremy is the guy that we both dated. Now, another disclaimer is there is a third party who is our friend who also dated him, but I don't really think that's going to tie into the story. I don't, I don't, I don't think it I mean, it kind of does a little bit because that one time I saw you in church. When you came to sing at New Life. What did she have to do with that? She's the only reason I even knew who you were. Oh. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> I had no idea what Jeremy had going on in his life those days. Mm -hmm. So basically the story starts when she started dating Jeremy. When she started dating Jeremy. Jeremy is a whole ethnic. Like he really is just. Well he used to be. I don't know if he is now. Yeah because he but, married now. Yeah he's definitely married now. So but, I hope he's not. Still the same way that he was before, but before he was dead. Yeah, he was trash. So he was dating her and he was also like talking to, and I don't even know if they were dating, they might have been dating one of my close friends at the time. When he first started talking to me, he was still in a relationship with her, but I had no idea until after the fact. Right, okay, so when they first started talking, he was talking to, he was with one of my close friends at the time. She's still with my close friends. So um, the story time kind of starts from the first time that I heard about her. And that was at the at at our church, New Life. And she she was in like a choir or something. Yeah. And she came to sing at New Life. And all of my friends, everybody else knew what she looked like. So all of my friends were just like, oh, there she goes, right there, there she is. And I'm just like, who? Like I'm I'm ready to like get down and angry with everybody else. Well, and they're pointing. Know what I look like. <laughs> and I don't know. To be honest with you, I have no idea. But like when I so I looked, and when I looked. I looked at the wrong person. So they were pointing at one person and I was dead looking at the wrong person the whole wow. freaking time. There was another person they were pointing at and I thought that's who she was. And so the whole time I had an image in my head of what she looked like that was not accurate. <laughs> so then I guess speeding forward, but that's how I found out who she was and we ended up being friends on Facebook. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that like, happened. I, like, I, don't, I don't know how that happened. I think that happened because of Jazzy? Yeah, we have a we had a mutual best like we were both very close with Jazzy at the same time, which is another reason why this story connects us. Yeah. So I guess the most important part of the story would be the next part would be April Fool's Day. Mm -hmm. And I think that was 2013. Yes, it was. So 2013, April Fool's Day. I was in a relationship with Jeremy at the time. And of course, back then, I don't know if people still do it now. I don't I don't, but Back then, people were doing the, oh, we broke up thing yeah. on April Fool's. And so, of course, I joined the trend, and I posted on Facebook that we broke up. And then Ricky had commented. Did you comment? I commented. 
She commented something. I don't know what it was. I cannot what remember I commented what it was. was, are you okay? Or I because in my mind, see what I was thinking was. I know how he is. So I'm thinking they broke up because he cheated. <laughs> that was what I was thinking. And I didn't know her, but I know a lot of people who have been left in his wake of heartbreak. So I commented, I said, I'm sorry, are you okay? Or something along those lines. And I don't know, was there a response in the comments? Like, did I? Yes, it started with the, re no, it wasn't, no, it did. It started with the comments because the girl who was replying started with the comments. But I and don't then, know what was said. That's the thing. Like, like I don't know what was okay, said. So after that, like a little bit of time <clears> went by. <throat> and I guess I don't I knew that a little bit of time went by. And then there was a reply. It was like, why are you asking? Aren't you his ex? Something, something, something. Now, mind you, I dated him for all of five seconds. So to me, he wasn't really my ex. But I was kind of like, I was just like, I was just, you know, trying to be. I was trying to be nice, but whatever. And then the attitudes just kept coming, and so I started to get an attitude back. But didn't wasn't there like a transition to like yeah? The I stopped replying to the comments because I was like, okay, she tripping. And then I got a message in my Facebook messages, and that's how it kind of transgressed from like the the comments to my my DMs, and then we're arguing back and forth on Facebook. Yeah. And at this point, it's in the messages. So at this point, I'm just like, okay, T about to get beat up. Like, so that's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, so clearly we gonna fight because I don't understand the hostility. <laughs> like, I was like, I ain't gonna to you. I was trying to be nice. I was simply just trying to ask you if you were okay. I don't know how new you were. Like, I did know that she hadn't lived in Huntsville for a very long time. Mm -mm. I so I'm like also thinking before. that she might not have no friends like that to yeah. talk about a situation if they broke up. That's what I was thinking. So I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be friendly, which if anybody knows me, is not something that I do often. I get in these moods. And I'll be, <laughs> so I'll be nice when I'm in those moods. And so I was just in the mood. I was like, oh, that sucks. Da -da -da -da. So when she started coming at me, it was like, I'm going back and forth with whom I think is Tia in the DMs. And I mean, when I say we going back and forth, it, it gets hostile. And I'm going off. Like, it was a lot. But what she didn't know was that <clears throat> after the comments on the post that I had posted, I left my laptop open and on Facebook and went to take a shower. Now, at the time, I was staying in a dorm. And so one of my friends was there that lived downstairs. She came upstairs to my room. And she was the one who was responding to Ricky on Facebook as me. And so the whole time, Ricky is thinking that she's going back and forth with me. The whole time, I knew nothing about it because I'm in the shower. Mm -hmm. And so this whole argument just formed that I knew nothing about. And then all of a sudden, I found out that she wanted to fight me. And I was like, what that did was, I do? Crazy. I'm trying to figure out what I did. And I think Jazzy was the one who told me what happened. Yeah, she was like, and yeah. Ricky wants to fight you. Because I, like, I, I literally didn't do anything. I called Jazzy like not long after the situation happened. And I was like, your friend finna get me. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not gonna be sitting here and being talked to like this. I was being nice to her. I literally like showed, I told her to go look at the comments first. And then I like was telling her, reading the messages off to her. And I was like, I said, she get attitude for no reason. Don't nobody want that little raggedy behind nigga. Like, I was like, don't and nobody Everybody want that it. knows me knows that I don't just pop off like that. It takes me a minute to get to that point. I was so, so irritated. Like, I was like, <laughs> why? Like, I said, what are you so mad for? I said, clearly, in my mind, I'm thinking somebody done told her something because I had a reputation in the, reputation, in the church. And so I'm thinking somebody must have told her something about me and him that wasn't true. Because even though me and him broke up, we were still friends. We still spoke. So when we saw each other, we'd hang out a lot. But it was, it was never on that type of time. <laughs> so, like, I was like, I was ready to go. A little bit after that, she, um, I didn't see her at all. I think she said she saw me once. I saw you on campus. I think it was like during camp meeting that mm -hmm. summer. Because that happened April Fool's Day. So that summer I saw you on campus. Yeah, I remember you telling and me I that. I dodged you. Like, I, I dodged you. And which is funny because I wouldn't have recognized her, to be honest. Like, I could have saw her in person and had no idea that it was her. Because, like I said, when they were pointing her out in on the stage, I looked at the wrong individual. <laughs> so I'm thinking that she looks like something completely different than what she looks like. And I was dodging her because I didn't want to get beat up over nothing. For me, it was nothing because I didn't do anything. Right. But I knew that she was out to so get So then, me. the... <laughs> out to get you. Yes, it's out to get me. <laughs> it wasn't even really, honestly, like after a few months,
honest, I was kind of over it. Like, over it in the sense where, like, I didn't necessarily want to fight anymore. I just was like, I don't like her. And that's just that. Like, I was like, so that I was just scared. how I felt. And so, later, I guess the next thing that happened was when we actually met. Which was the next year. The following year. The day after the your birthday? The day before my the birthday. The day before your birthday. No. It was the day after my birthday. Yeah. Because that's when I... <laughs> okay. So, the day after my birthday, Jazzy told me that she wanted to hang out with me. I was like, alright, cool. At that time, she didn't have a car. But I did. And so, well, I didn't. My parents... That's a different story. I was driving my mom's car and so I went and picked up Jazzy and she was like well we gotta go pick up one of my other friends I told her that we were gonna come get her and I was like all right cool so she gave me the direction to how to get to her house or whatever so we pulled up in the parking lot it was a, an apartment complex and she was like yeah Ricky lives here I'm gonna go get her and I'll be right back and I was like I couldn't say anything and I couldn't just leave because she had already hopped out the car so if I left I would have been leaving her there too uh -huh. and Jazzy was I didn't want to do that <laughs> she was really talking on us that day she really was and so she went in the house to get Ricky and I was just sitting in the car annoyed because I was like why why wouldn't she tell me before but she I guess she knew that if she told me before that I would not have And for me, it was kind of like, I didn't know, I knew somebody was coming to get me with Jazzy. But she didn't tell me who, she did not tell me who until she walked in the door. And she was like, Tia's outside. And I'm sitting there like, Tia who? <laughs> like, like, I know you're not telling me that you have to go have me riding in this girl's car. Knowing how I feel, I was so livid, bro. I almost like, I'm not going. But then I was like, they already here. And where I lived, it wasn't necessarily right around the corner. It was not. So, <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm going to go. So I went. And then she told me, what she told me was it was her birthday. And that's what I was like. I was like, why would you invite? In my mind, I was like, why would you invite me to come hang out with this girl? And I don't like her. She don't like me. And it's her birthday. That's so st I was so mad. I was like, I was so irritated. So I get in the car. And I was trying to be as polite as possible because it's not my car. So I said hello. She said hello, Latia. No, Latia. You called me Latia. I said hello, Latia, and I just added. I got the question. I was like, hi. I don't even think I said your name. I just said hi. Hi, and nobody, and we didn't say anything else to each other, and we really didn't say much to each other the whole day. Like we were kind of, we were both having a conversation with Jazzy at the same time. Not really. We wouldn't say words not to each other. I think like one time while we were at the pool place, the pool hall, or whatever, we exchanged a couple of sentences. But then, but then that was it. But we weren't even. We didn't even look at each other when we said it. Cause I remember, I don't know what you said to me, but I responded looking in the opposite direction. I I was walking around the pool table like like so. Yeah, I wouldn't look at her. Cause she was sitting down. And I was standing up in front of the pool table, even though I don't know how to play pool, so I don't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to play pool either, which is why I was sitting down. I'm not sure time. what I was doing. But I but I was standing up and she this was sitting down. Jazzy set up. And we were exchanging <laughs> words, but we weren't really exchanging words with each other. Yeah. So that was pretty much how the whole day went. And I really don't know what else we did that day, because it seemed like we were together the whole day. We were together the whole day, but I don't know what else we did. I just know we went to her campus. Yeah. <clears throat> And that's really and I remember I like toward the end of the day, all of a sudden Jazzy had to go home or to her grandma's house or somewhere. And she, and she had to be dropped, off, dropped first. off first. Yeah. And I was just like, so it was going to be me and her right. alone in the car. And I'm immediately just like, oh, I'm so upset. Even though the day wasn't bad, there was no hostility or anything. It was just. Why would you? Why? Exactly. I was like, we don't have any business being alone. No. Together. Well, I was like, that is not my friend. Like, I, was like, that's all I, I was like, I don't know this girl. And like, I, I was sitting there just like, this is so dumb. So we drop her off, and then I ended up going for the back seat to the front seat. And she's driving me home. But it's a distance from where we were to where she lived. Yes, it was a And so I, it was just dead silent. I don't even think we were listening to music. It was silent. It was just silent. And I was like, I'm not going to do this for the whole way. From here to where she lives. Because that would have been a good, what, 20 minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. And so I just decided to break the silence. Because by that time, I knew that the conversation that she had with me was not me. It was one of my other 
acquaintance. She's not even an acquaintance anymore. It was my girl, she used to be girl cool. I used to be cool with. And so I decided to tell her. I don't even know how I started the conversation. This is what you said. Let me just um, talk, tell you something or address the situation. Um, and I remember you because you were doing your hand like this while you were <laughs> driving. Because <laughs> when you first started talking, I'm sitting there like looking at her like I don't know what she's going to say. <laughs> like, I, was, I was ready because I like in my mind, my thought process of the type of person she was was not positive. <laughs> like Because all I had heard was what my friends had said about her. And then I had her, then we had the altercation on Facebook. So in my mind, she was messy as hell. That's all I kept thinking. I was like, nope, this is not and it. And by this time, Jeremy wasn't even in the picture no more. Yeah. Like, they had already broken they up. They really then. broke up by then. Yeah. So she was like, let me just say this. And then she's like, do you remember when um, you got into it with me on Facebook? And I'm looking at, and when I tell y'all, like, the whole time I am anticipating <laughs> a fight. <laughs> like, because she's talking to me and she like I'm hearing it took her a long time to really get to the to say what really she was did. trying to say and she was like do you remember and I was like mm-hmm like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like yes and then she was like that wasn't me and I was like and as soon as she said that I stopped and I because I was looking at my phone and, and I, I remember you turning and looking <laughs> dead at me <laughs> and I was kind of like what like, like in my mind I'm just like Huh? And so then I explained the situation how my friend was in the room and I left my laptop open and went and took a shower. And the whole time I was in the shower, she's responding back and forth with Ricky. And I never saw any of the conversation. She del I don't know if I ever told you that, but she deleted the whole thing. And so I couldn't see. As soon as she anything. said that, I was like... <laughs> Your friend's a weirdo. Like, I was really just like, why would she do that? Like, I was, I was literally just like, why would somebody do something like that? Like, I was, we're sitting there going back and forth about what happened. And I was telling her the conversation. And I was telling her how I was reacting to the conversation and where I was, what I was thinking, what was going on in my head. So by the time we get to my house, we're laughing about the whole thing. And we're just cracking up. And then somehow we exchange numbers. When you were getting out of the car, I told you to put your number in my phone. And so she put her number in my phone. We exchanged numbers. I think you texted me that night or something. Mm -hmm. And then we had planned to hang out the next day. The next day. And then we hung out the next day. That was pretty much after she wrote. and the day after. Like we just for the rest of the time. We were, <laughs> we were pretty much. It was like literally after that conversation. We exchanged numbers within like two weeks. We were calling each other best friends. Like yeah. like literally. And I think that same weekend is the weekend that you spent the night in my house. Yes, jazz music it was we like literally from then on we were inseparable we were together every single day from that like point literally point. Was, she would go to work we didn't even live like close to each other i was I on campus she would go to work get off work and come straight to my house pretty much because yes. <laughs> like, she she did live close to where i worked yeah so i would like get off work and go straight to her house and be with her for the whole day if we could get away with it i was <laughs> i would spend the yes. night and anytime i could not go home come right back the next day and every and weekend, she would either we spend the together. night with me or i she would stay at her house exactly and it was, every weekend every it was the same weekend. and it was weird how it happened because it wasn't it wasn't like it was intentional it just kind of happened. Like, we yeah. went from not really speaking at all to after, like, laughing about the situation and we exchanged, like, numbers. The first day, the next day when we hung out, Jazzy was supposed to come with us and she didn't. So we ended up being alone. Yeah. For the whole day. And we talked so much. We the did. Whole like, nonstop. Day. It was, like, <laughs> nonstop talking the whole day. That, like, we just was going back and forth. And then after that, that was all she wrote. We were just mm -hmm. best friends. We connected, like, instantly. We but had a lot of the same interests, like it was, and we thought the same way about a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I would, we, I know, right, was a common set statement, like, yeah. like, and so after that, it was just like instant friendship, and that was pretty much all she wrote. Mm -hmm. I was it. It's been like that since then, and be, I can honest to God say that before that and after that, I have not had the same type of instant connection with anybody i know for a fact that i haven't <laughs> like with not a soul nobody in me has ever been <laughs> that close even if i got close to people fast it's never been like that close that yeah. fast consistently <laughs> throughout the right. whole friendship so that's the story sorry you guys our camera got turned off but that was actually the end of the story anyway <laughs> so if you made it this far in the video then make sure you subscribe turn the notification bell and stick around because we are about to record part two
so you don't want to miss that. So make sure that you subscribe and turn the notification bell. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> All of that. Subscribe to our personal channels. Oh, true facts. Put that right here. Cherishing Flow and Eccentric Rebel. I'm gonna be back on my channel very soon. By the time this video comes out, you'll probably I should be back, be back on my channel. <laughs> my channel. <laughs> so go ahead and subscribe yeah. to our channel. And our social medias, mine is... I think it's like Eccentric Rebel. Eccentric Rebel underscore for Instagram and TikTok and Eccentric Rebel one. What is the other one? Twitter. Twitter, yeah. <laughs> Eccentric Rebel 1 on Twitter, Eccentric Rebel underscore on Instagram and TikTok. Um, mine is Cherish and Flow underscore on Instagram and Cherish and Flow on everything else. Both of them will be on the screen, so make sure that you guys go and follow us on those socials, our separate channels. They'll be in the description box, all of that and all of that. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video, part two.